Good afternoon everybody, it's Phil here again from not so sunny England, as you know it always rains here. Um, what are we talking about today? This is video 15 today and um, I'm going to talk about what I've been up to as far as Big Idea Mastermind and Empower Networks concerned. Um, I'm carrying on blogging every day, I'm doing a blog every day and as you can see I'm doing a video every day as well. Um, good practice, like you say, from in front of the camera and that. I think I'm getting better from video one. You're always welcome to go back and have a look at video one and work your way through to where we are so far, if you wish. No problem. Um, Craigslist. Um, I was looking at Craig's, Craig's list um, yesterday, which, as we all know, is a um, classified ad site. And um, I put a couple of ads on, and um, believe it or not, I've had six replies. I say replies, um, I don't know whether you know how Craigslist works, but when you put an advert on there, you get a, re a reply back from Craigslist, and um, then you can communicate with the person who's um, interested in whatever you put on there. I put on an ad there, believe it or not, for um, an admin staff for my business, which I needed, and um, that was fulfilled straight away. But um, I've been inundated with inquiries about the actual position. It's a sales position, sales market admin position in my business. As I say, it's been fulfilled. And um, I'm thinking, hold on a minute, I've had 30 odd people apply for this job. There's possible 30 odd leads there. So um, what I've done is, luckily, they've all forwarded, um, because it was a job um, application, they've all forwarded their CVs. And so, um, I've emailed them with um, the BIM offer and three people have come back on that offer and I had a nice phone call from a guy yesterday who was very interested in it and um, he's going on to look at the videos now and um, maybe I might hear from him again. I had a long conversation with him on the phone, probably half an hour, just telling him the merits and the benefits of joining and, then, and all the rest of it. And um, I had another girl who rang me up about the opportunity and she said to me, I'm ringing up because I think it might be a scam. <laughs> and I thought, well, that's a strange um, opening to a conversation about um, an opportunity, but there you go. I attempted in, um, in the best possible way to convince her or to explain to her how the business works and what's involved. And um, I'm not sure whether she went away convinced or not but um, she did say this type of business isn't for me so that's fair enough I mean you know some people will inquire and you give them the information if they're not interested you can't force them to join and I wouldn't want to force them to join because if they're going to join reluctantly you're not going to get any benefit you're not going to get any value out of that person and you're not going to be you're going to be wasting your time training and helping and coaching that person so um, that's the way that went anyway so Craigslist, obviously, I, I put in a um, job application for Bristol area, which is nearest the nearest city to where I, I live. And um, I might um, look into that a bit more to put ads on there and see how it goes. Saying that, I actually did put an ad on there for um, network marketing and this type of business. And I actually had it taken off because it was disapproved. I also had a look on putting ads on... India ads, I think it is, in um, Mumbai or something like that. And that was, they were taken off as well because I was um, not being clever enough to disguise maybe what I was advertising. If that's the way to do it, I'm not really sure. But there you go. Um, so that was quite interesting. Um, I've also looked into, as far as videoing is concerned, screen recorders. Now, screen recorders look quite good and I think it can. By using them, you can emphasize what you're trying to get over. In other words, if you're trying to explain a concept or a piece of software or something like that that you own and you think it's a good idea that someone goes for it, then um, screen recording is good. There's a few free ones out there on the market. You know what I mean when you can actually talk and, and there's a, basically a picture of your computer on the video. So um, I'm looking into that. Um, possibly downloading and maybe even buying one because some I think they're invaluable if you like doing videos and they will enhance what I what I have to say so that was something I, I'm definitely looking into. Um, I've also been looking at YouTube whereby um, I've done a video, a sales video um, for the BIM system 
which I've attempted to, to actually pay for the adverts on YouTube whereby, you, I don't know whether you know, but when you go into YouTube there's always like a paid one at the top normally in yellow and a couple down the bottom as well and also in the search criteria you can have your your video at the top and I've been looking into doing that um, funnily enough when I went into um, YouTube AdWords which is where they cover the video as well I actually had 25 quid in there which I actually forgot I had so that was quite a nice little surprise anyway I added another 25 pounds to that to give me a 50 pound um, advert budget just to test it you know learn the procedure and um, just work out how it goes and just to see how, just to see if I get any response that way and um, so I went through the whole procedure and then I finished off my video and all the all the pieces you have to go through and how much in the campaign you want to do and how long you want it to run how much you want to pay for it when you want it to go what kind of target audience you're looking for and then I was waiting for approval and then it came back as um not approved with no explanation whatsoever you know if the video wasn't improved I thought didn't didn't it said something like it didn't cover the criteria of YouTube's terms and conditions so I thought oh but I couldn't work out for why they'd refused it I thought I hope it's got nothing I hope it's not because there's a it's an empower network connection and um, because like I've heard that empower network is so strong that um, they've actually don't like it anymore because it's dominating too much. I thought that might have something to do with it. But anyway, I wrote, I emailed the um, support at um, YouTube and they've come back this morning and they've told me the reason why it was, was um, not approved is because in the description I had what they call capitalization. And in there I said, um, please click this link now with an N-O-W in capital letters and that's all it was, that was the only reason they um, disapproved it. So I'm, ne I'm now going to change that and I'm going to go through the whole procedure again, although I think it might still be in my um, back office on um, the YouTube um, advert page. And I'm going to resubmit that and then I'll let you know how that gets on. So um, that's what I've been up to today and yesterday evening so just keep it uh, just keep you up to date as to how I'm going on the business is um, bigger and bigger there's more and more to do all the time every day keeping the videos up to date keeping your blogging up to date then looking at adverts as well learning the get response system it's a, it's a lot to do and you need the time to do it and um, luckily I have got the time to do it and um, I'm getting on with it so I'll speak to you a bit about mind stuff tomorrow okay and um, Oh, you'll hear from me then. All right then, all the best. Have a good day. Bye.